Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, August 11th, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is joy is the reason. And today we have an interesting day. We do not have anything really major going on until the evening and it's so late in the evening that it's actually tomorrow for some people. Um, we have Venus actually. Venus is doing all the action. Venus will be trining Neptune and Venus will be squaring the moon. And this is really interesting to me because one aspect, Venus trine Neptune at 13 degrees is going to be a supportive um, more comfortable kind of connection. And then Venus square the moon is going to be a little bit less comfortable. And the thing is, they're happening like, <laughs> you know, like one right after the other. Now, what is interesting though to me is that in the background, we have Mercury conjunct Vesta. I've been talking about that. Vesta moves a little bit slowly and Mercury is moving very slowly because Mercury is actually going retrograde on Saturday. Tomorrow it is going retrograde on the 12th. Um, but we have these energies at 11 degrees and I've been talking about this. Treating your body as the temple. Honoring your body. Listening to the messages your body is sending. Less, listening to the details. Paying attention to the details. So we have that happening and that to me it's not necessarily a transit of comfort, but it can be comforting if you can show up for yourself and take care of yourself and do treat yourself like the temple that you are. Um, we have Venus actually conjunct Ceres. Ceres in Cancer. And to me, this can be very comforting. Ceres is a uh, mother energy. And when I look at somebody's chart, and it can be, you know, this is how you you and your mother this is where how your relationship is this is how you mother your children but most importantly because I think it all comes back to us and what we can do and be in our own personal lives Ceres is how you can mother yourself so Venus and Ceres conjunct in Cancer is saying you must show up in that mother energy in that nurturing energy for yourself so even though we have this one square Overall, we have these really strong tides of energy that can be nurturing, especially if we are showing up for ourselves. And that's where I got the energy mantra. Joy is the reason. Because when you nurture yourself, when you take care of yourself, you're nurturing your soul. You're taking care of your soul. And that joy will transit through all the other areas of your life, body, mind, spirit, soul. Now, where that square is happening with that moon and that resistance energy, that uncomfortable energy, it may be that your I am energy, Aries energy, is not quite used to nurturing yourself. We talked about this when Venus moved into Cancer. So often with Cancer energy, it is such a nurturing energy, it is such a mothering energy that we mother all the other things and we forget about ourselves. And so that's where that square, that resistance may be. Instead of focusing outside of yourself, bringing it in to the I am energy. These aspects, these happenings, this connection with Neptune, this connection with Ceres, this connection with the moon, it's all at 13 degrees. That is revolution, evolution, shift energy. So this is part of your personal evolution to take a stand in saying, yes, I am going to show up for me. I am going to take care of myself because I am worth it. <laughs> and joy is the reason because I know that I want to keep reaching for this joy because this is helping shift myself and then therefore shifting everyone around around me and shifting the world. This is an important thing. Um, that Neptune energy, I feel like if that, that Venus conjunct Neptune thing, or not conjunct, sorry, trying, Venus trying Neptune thing, I feel like if you honor your flow, like of what your body's asking, whether it's for a nap right now, or I want to light some incense, or I need to go outside, if you honor that flow, that's a strong that's a strong tide that's going to move you through this nurturing energy. So show up for that. Honor your temple. Take care of your temple. Love your temple. And see how it moves you forward. Like I said, Mercury is going retrograde tomorrow. We've been in the shadow for a while. I'm sure you've been feeling the shadow of this. But keep paying attention to details. Notice what's coming up. But above all, listen to the messages that your body has. So the card. <laughs> Playfulness actually goes really well with the 13 moon card that I have, which is synchronicity. You see the shape 
the shapes are almost the same. The colors are actually very similar too. So we're gonna get into that card because I think that's really good. But I wanna show you some of the other things. Ordinariness. Ordinariness is like, I'm thinking of a Colette Baron Reed card um, from The Wisdom of the Oracle. I forget what the card is called, but it's basically like, you know, wash the floor, take the water. It's taking care of the mundane tasks, taking care of the basics. And if you can do that, taking care of the basic tasks, showing up for that, it's an eight card. That's a card of showing up. If you can show up in that manner, gifts, gifts come of it. Um, this is very interesting. I have, it's so funny, I have the aloneness card and I have the we are the world card. So to me it's like, it's not really clear. You know, for some of you, this may be a day that you do want to spend your time alone, caring for yourself, and that will be what's nurturing for you. For others, it may be a day to get out and be out and about with people, and that's what's nurturing for you. And that's why I feel like I have both of these uh, in reverse. It's like, do what's right for you. <laughs> people or no people? Pe are you going to people today? I have a friend who's like, I'm peopling today. <laughs> you know, so notice for you what is right. And that's kind of where this card comes in. Oop, this is, yeah, not reversed. Moment to moment. Being in the moment. Being in accordance with what is right and balanced for you in this time. So let's look at this playfulness, synchronicity energy, synchronicity, the frequency of magenta, expansiveness, connections, destiny, new choices, limitlessness, and non-fixity. Okay, so receiving this magenta uh, frequency counsels you to pay attention to the synchronicities in your daily life experience that are leading you to your destiny unfolding. Connections between apparently unrelated events revealing themselves as the high, higher symbolic coding to your destiny, unrolling like a magical carpet. Be watchful for powerful tingling deja vu feelings that are indicators of companions of destiny showing up in your life. I thought this was really interesting because I find myself surrounding myself with this a lot. Magenta is made up with the merger of two extremes of the light spectrum, red and purple. All over my room, is red and purple. Red and purple are actually my favorite, two favorite colors, and I would say that magenta's right up there. I love magenta as well, so I'm like, oh, of course, of course this is. So red and purple, which is like the root chakra being grounded, and yet it's also um, third eye, crown energy, uh, connected, connecting outside of ourselves. So um, really covers the basis. <laughs> Symbolic of the connection of what may appear to be different. There are creative uh, connections, um, creatively connecting unusual combinations of people's ideas, events, whatever wants to be woven into your life. And that's why I think we have this option of like people or no people. Maybe your, your weave right now is this, you know, this hermit weave. Like I'm weaving these events, I'm weaving these, these feathers, these rocks, these synchronicities, these words into my thing over here. Or maybe it is through these connections with others. It is going to be different people to people, person to person. Um, you are a dreamer. Visualize yourself in this magenta frequency and ask how to make choices in the light of who you authentically are in your expanded essence. There is a fluidity to this and they're comparing it to Alice in Wonderland. And like in Alice in Wonderland, though things appear to be one way, nothing is fixed. Everything is always in transit, always evolving, always shifting. We live in a quantum reality where everything adjusts to the micro moments and the micro movements of everything else. When you relax and open, new possibilities will flow into your awareness, grinning with satisfaction like the Cheshire Cat. I really like that card. So be in the moment, listen to the synchronicities, honor your personal flow, you know? Honor your personal flow. That's so that combination of the red and the purple. The red is the I am, and then the purple is the flow. And when you bring them in, it is this magenta frequency. Work with that energy today so that you can get into the, the energy mantra. Joy is the reason. Be in that flow, honor yourself. And like I said, you are the temple. Take care of it. Listen to the details as we move into this retrograde time. I will see you tomorrow. Book a reading if you want to dive deeper into your personal chart. Namaste.